Now, the migrant crisis and a war of words is erupting between New York Governor Hochul and New York City Mayor Adams. The rift between the two typically tight political allies is a significant revelation. Today, Mayor Adams unleashed his harshest criticism of the governor, claiming her lack of leadership, what he claims is her lack of leadership, is hurting the city. Tonight, the governor's office is firing back. Here's Avenue News reporter Stefan Kim. I think the governor's wrong. Mayor Adams came out swinging today in mid-season form, and that was just round one. I am just really baffled around that um, very smart people believe that this is sustainable for New York City. His first comments at a fireside chat at the New York Law School about Governor Hochul refusing to force other counties to take in asylum seekers. Then later at City Hall, the cracks in their partnership apparently deepening. The Department of Homeland Security yesterday offered 11 federal sites, many outside the city, to potentially house migrants. This was Governor Hochul last week on housing migrants upstate. The city of New York and a coalition for the homeless signed an agreement that the city would provide shelter to anyone who seeks it. This is an agreement that does not apply to the state's other 57 counties, which is one of the reasons we cannot and will not force other parts of our state to shelter migrants. If the national leaders are saying we're not going to stop the flow, that's a failed plan. And if the state leaders are saying it must stay in New York City, that's a failed plan. When asked if he would go against the governor and send migrants upstate, the mayor made his intentions crystal clear. If I get permission from the federal government, we're going to use that. We are going to use any space that's available to take the pressure off of New York City residents. A spokesperson for the governor says, quote, it is unfortunate the mayor is pointing the finger at the state, which continues to provide the city with unprecedented amounts of financial support rather than working collaboratively to manage this crisis.